first gun we ever showcased on the channel still remains one of my favorite all-time weapons in the game. If not my favorite, just for the sole nostalgia region, it's obviously going to be none other than our Vladov Lucian's Call. Now, the Lucian's Call can be, you know, the dedicated drop for it is like the Cistern of Slaughter. It's like the Cistern or the so Circle of Slaughter or the Slaughter Star 3000. But all the Lucian's Calls that I've ever farmed, I've just got them from a world drop from like a takedown or something like that. And rather than doing all that, rather than going through like all those unnecessary waves, rather just get it from, you know, the good old world drops tried and true method you already know. So, you know, we're, we're over here on the flag pack himself, the homie. And, you know, we're in the Malawan takedown, you know, trying to see, you know, what, what it's got, you know, these days, you know, over two years since we've first showcased this thing. Man, time just be flying. What can I say? What can I say? Now, back in the gap, this thing and the Rowan's Call were, on, were, like, on the same level. And for a long time, they really were. They used to be, like, some of the kings in, like, early parts of this game, like, May and 4, stuff like that. However, whenever the Lucian's Call and the Rowan's Call got buffed, the Rowan's Call just got the fattest buff. The Rowan's Call just got such a much, like, larger increase of a buff than the Lucian's Call did. So there's, it obviously stood out, but for me personally, because I do just generally like this gun so much, I am going to see what it's capable of, and we're going to make this thing look good, baby. Come on down, Valkyries. Come meet your fate. Come come meet my Lucian's Call, man. You know, it might, just because it's not the Rowan's Call doesn't mean you can't, you can't, you can sleep on it. Don't do that. So look, we're on the bridge side of things now, and we have a lot, like, the thing is, is that with this setup, dude, I'm trying to go for like a lot of ASC, so obviously we're gonna be running the Revolter. We have we have five and a two fang, so we do have chances to, you know, get double projectiles, but we're not gonna be running an Infernal Wish. That will really hurt our survivability. But we do have, you know, like ASC Cryo. A oh, actually, we have a Cryo Lucian's Call with ASC Rad, ASC Radiation, and then obviously we're gonna have uh, the Revolter giving us ASC 200% shock damage, which, you know, can't beat that. Can't beat that extra 200% shock damage. Just too strong. Too strong. Look at it. Look at, look, look how good the Lucian's Call is, man. Don't sleep on it. Like, these enemies really can't do anything to us, man. I know some of you guys have fucked with the Lucian's Call, man. I'm gonna tell me y'all's thoughts and opinions on it. I know, like, it doesn't get used that much, like, these days like it used to. I mean, and it makes sense, you know, because there's there's just way better options these days and stuff like that than when the game first came out. But the point is, man, like, it's still putting in that work! Guys, I know we are doing a bunch of New World content at the moment, but, you know, we're just trying something new here, man, but we still got, you know, the Borderlands coming, but if you have been, you know, interested in New World, peep it, peep the content, man. We've been doing a lot of New World stuff recently. Lucian's Call, though, man, it's so good! And now we have our good old tried and true fa fan favorite robot himself, Wotan Schmotan. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're gonna be able to make some pretty easy work out of him with our good old tried and true king itself, Lucian's Call. Well, it's not the king anymore, but you know what I'm saying. OG putting in that work you love to see you just love to see some of the og weapons still to this day just putting in that work standing the test of time like nobody's business man now what Tony is gonna do is split thing but that's okay because we're gonna pop back into fade away we're actually gonna get rid of his top half first because yeah he just gets shredded and now you know we're just gonna make light work of the bottom half because you know people sleep on the lucian's call and we're here to make sure that it, like people know hey man it puts in the work still on my five people y'all know what i'm talking about speaking of lucian's calls dropping like as world drops here's my point you know what i'm saying just boom drop drop right here in this takedown in this video we're here in the guardian takedown now to see how it does against you know i guess fatter enemies and we don't have an incinerary asc which i guess is something important to note so we're not gonna have like an elemental advantage on any of these enemies which will be a little bit uh, a bit of a downside but that's okay dude because we have our tried and true homie himself radiation asc next to mags what can i say dude radiation still still my favorite element in this game dude it's just so gosh darn good and so greasy just casually going about his business man what can i say lucian's call very 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 good still i love it guys that is going to just about wrap up the video hope y'all did enjoy if you guys did enjoy the video man please make sure to drop your little the like button and subscribe if y'all are new on the road to 10,000 subscribers shining that by the end of the year so look if we go look at our setup here you know we got the lucian's call right there chilling cryo next to max radiations we'll take that we'll take that then we have the revolter here we got the mesmer we have our blood off company man then we're rocking a stack buff the entire time here is our hunter tree looking okay okay our stalker tree jack shit in the trapper tree and then our master tree guys thank y'all so so much for watching hope y'all enjoy my name's Cree. We'll see you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.